My name is Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. We're on our way to the airport in Nassau to go to Great Inagua Island, hopefully to get a fabulous hummingbird and some great footage for you guys. Let's go, Mickey. All right, let's go. Great Inagua Island is the second largest and southernmost island in the Bahamas. It's only 55 miles east of Cuba. The island's population is only about a thousand people and the Morton Salt Company is the biggest employer. Chances are that the salt you put on your food comes from this island. We were met at the airport by Tara Lindo who would be our local guide for the next few days. We came to Great Inagua Island to find the Inagua Wood Star, a hummingbird which is endemic to this island. Tara told us that she'd been seeing a male coming to the noni plant in her own backyard, so that is the first place we went. The Inagua Wood Star was thought to be a subspecies of the Bahama Wood Star, but DNA analysis has shown it to be its own separate species. These little tiny white flowers are called noni flowers, and this is what he's feeding on. They're so tiny, they must be sweet. Is the noni fruit edible? Yeah, it's a fruit, yeah. Well, I mean, you wouldn't eat it like that. So, how they make it, they would let this get ripe, yes. and then it's soft and mushy, and then right. you would blend it, and take all the seeds, you have to take all the seeds, and right. you can dry it if you, you want to, and then they will Mix it with like grape juice and cranberry oh, juice. Oh, okay. It's like, and it's very healthy. It's supposed to be. You can Google it and see. I will. Check it out. You yes. know, I think I've seen that. Yeah, in the sure. health maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's what that's, it is. Yeah, that's wow. Cool. Tara took us on a little tour of Matthew Town, the only populated settlement on the island. Burrowing owls are numerous on Great Inagua Island. If you look at any open land by the schoolyard, the cemetery, or the lighthouse, you're likely to see an owl's head pop up out of the ground. Tara had also seen the hummingbird feeding on flowers at the Inagua Ocean Villas, which were currently unoccupied, so we could photograph the hummingbirds there. And here we got to see several female Inagua wood stars that seem to rule here on this property. After several hours of photographing, we went to the Lighthouse Restaurant Bar and Grill in Matthewtown for some Bahamian cuisine, and we enjoyed the wonderful views of the lighthouse and the beautiful turquoise water along the coastline. Next Sunday, we're going to climb up to the top of the lighthouse and drive out to the Morton Salt Factory to see the huge population of flamingos that inhabit this island. 